Hello and welcome to MD Newsline. Thank you so much for being here with us. Please introduce yourself to our audience. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Dr. Oluwakemi Onajin. I'm an assistant professor of dermatology at the University of Chicago. I'm a board certified dermatologist and dermatopathologist. Great. Um, so tell us a little bit about um, your, your specialties. What, what are your areas of focus? Yeah, that's a great question. I focus more on um, inflammatory skin diseases or what we call complex medical dermatology. So I see patients who have autoimmune skin diseases like lupus, um, dermatomyositis, sarcoidosis, and I also specialize in hydronitis suppurativa. Yeah, which is what we want to talk about. We're going to say HS for short, right? Yes, we can say HS. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about what HS is. Uh, what does it look like? Um, and tell us about the pathogenesis. Like, how does it manifest? Yeah, so HS is a complex disease. So it's an inflammatory disorder that involves the hair follicles in certain areas of the body. So primarily the intertriginous areas. So those are the body folds, like the underarms, the groin area under the breast, and the buttocks. Um, and it's a debilitating chronic disorder. Um, there's no cure for this disease. So how do most people come to realize that they have HS? What's usually the process from symptoms to diagnosis? Yeah. And, you know, it's great that you asked that question because hydronitis suppurativa is commonly misdiagnosed and there's a it takes a long time for patients to get diagnosed on average seven to 10 years. So patients will notice that they get these painful boils is what they call them in certain areas like their underarms, like the groin area. And these are relapsing and chronic and occur multiple times a year, sometimes lasting for months. And they're very painful, often draining um, some fluid and blood and, and, and all of that. So so then um, do patients usually think these are ingrown hairs? What, what do they usually come into their, let's say, primary care physician um, and discuss? And then what leads them maybe to a, an HS diagnosis? Most of the time, patients think it's an abscess or a cyst. And a lot of times patients are actually going into acute care facilities for urgent care and emergency departments, and they're getting treatment to incise and drain. So that's to open up and drain these um, lesions. So most of the time patients actually go to these acute facilities because of how acutely painful um, these lesions are. So then they go to the acute facilities, but they're being treated as uh, boils, when do they get an HS diagnosis? It can take seven to 10 years. And um, now that we're raising awareness that um, um, providers, physicians, clinicians at these acute care facilities now know that when patients come in and if they have typical lesions, so the diagnostic criteria for HS is having typical lesions like nodules, abscesses, or these tunnels or tracks under the skin, and they occur in certain areas of the body, so intertriginous areas. And these lesions occur more than twice in a six-month period. So all of that is enough to diagnose HS.